Hello and welcome back to another episode in the Lean Stacks Technology Instruction Series. In this episode, we build upon the Greeting Web Services project, adding code style reporting using the Check Style plugin for the popular Gradle build system. This episode builds upon previous Gradle episodes. If you have not had an opportunity to watch them, I encourage you to take a look. Let's get started. I have opened the Greeting Web Services project in the Spring Tool Suite, or STS. Open the build.gradle file located in the project base directory. Gradle functionality is organized into tasks. Gradle plugins provide new functionality to, to a build by supplying additional tasks. CheckStyle is a library that analyzes a Java project's source code against a set of style rules to ensure that all contributions to the project adhere to a certain standard. Using a source code standard improves the readability of the code, decreasing the time required to onboard new team members, resolve bugs, and generally improves the maintainability of the source code. Let's begin by adding the Gradle check style plugin to the build using the apply plugin statement. Next, let's configure the check style plugin. Add a closure to the build script named check style. The check style closure is used to supply configuration to the plugin. The tool version property allows you to configure a specific version of the check style library to be used by the plugin. Since the default value is a bit old, let's configure a newer version. I prefer to centralize the location for Gradle plugin and dependency versions in the project level extra properties. Let's create a property named CheckStyle version and use the property key in the CheckStyle closure. CheckStyle analyzes project source code using a set of code style rules. Each of these rules is configurable, allowing you to modify the rules to match your Java code style guide. CheckStyle rules are authored in an XML document and stored within the project source. Since the CheckStyle rules are not part of the project's production or unit test code, let's create a subdirectory named etc for etc. to store the rules there. In the project base directory create a new folder named etc and within the etc folder create another folder named check style. Within the etc check style folder create a new file named rules.xml. I'll paste in the lean stacks check style rules. The Lean Stacks check style rules were created first by cloning Google's check style rules and then modifying them slightly to Lean Stacks code style guide. You may view all the rules in the GitHub repository found in this episode's description. Finally, we need to tell the Gradle check style plugin where to find the rules. The plugin expects the file to be located in a directory named config check style and a file named checkstyle.xml by default. To override that default location, add the config property to the check style closure. To make it easier for contributing software engineers to comply with your project's Java code style rules, use the Java code style formatter built into the Spring Tool Suite or into any Eclipse IDE software. Simply access the project properties and edit the Java code style formatter settings to match your project's check style rules. When finished, you can export the formatter configuration to your project so that contributors can import the same setup. Remember to configure the project to format all lines of source code when a source code file is saved.
Let's build the application to see the Gradle CheckStyle plugin in action. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. If the Gradle command line interface is installed on the build machine, the Gradle command may be used to initiate Gradle. Oftentimes it's desirable to run Gradle without installing the command line interface. The Gradle wrapper provides the full functionality of Gradle without requiring the installation on the build machine. See the Lean Stacks episode titled Using the Gradle Build System with Spring Boot to learn more about the Gradle wrapper. At the terminal prompt, type Gradle W Clean Build to initiate the build process. Notice from the build output that the check style task has executed. Let's look at the reports in the project's build slash reports subdirectory. Within the check style subdirectory, we see reports named main and test in both HTML and XML formats. Check style produces one report for each source set. In our case, we have source sets for both main and test. Open the Build Dashboard report to view the CheckStyle HTML reports. Notice that the CheckStyle plugin produces separate reports for main and test which are linked into the Build Dashboard. It looks like we have some refactoring to ensure that the code complies with the CheckStyle rules. Standardizing source code style is an integral part of any software project. Anyone that has been frustrated trying to compare repository commits or a pull request, riddled with spacing, tabs, or other style issues, understands the importance of a source style analysis tool. By employing the check style tool in a software project, it helps to ensure that style standards are enforced. Implementing check style is just one step though. You should also strongly consider authoring a coding style guide document which describes the standards that are expected of software engineers and enforced by check style rules. This document is one of many pieces of information which are helpful when welcoming new contributors to your project. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new episodes are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com. To view the complete repository illustrated in this episode, see the GitHub repository URL in this episode's description.